we're going to be talking about impact. Everybody say impact. 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 Raise your hands if you know that your future is going to be greater than your past. The I in impact stands for inspiration. Everybody say inspiration. inspiration. The M in impact stands for motivation. Everybody say motivation. motivation. The P in impact stands for purpose. Everybody say purpose. purpose. The A in impact stands for action. Everybody say action. action. The C in impact stands for courage. Everybody say courage. courage. The T in impact stands for trans. Transformation. Everybody say transformation. transformation. All right, so with that, we're going to go through each one. I promise you, this is my guarantee to you, I promise you, if you follow at least one thing, how many things? Just one thing. It's going to change your life. The I and impact stood for what again? Inspiration. 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 See, here's the beautiful thing about inspiration. It gets you going. If we look at the word inspiration, the Latin root is sperare. Sperare means breath. It literally means breath. So the word inspiration means to breathe life in. Wave at him, 15-year-old Odell. You know what got 15-year-old Odell going? Money! Basketball girls. The young ladies that I was crushing on wanted to do I wanted to do it because I didn't really know how to articulate my value otherwise. And there was a young lady in my class. She was nice. She was, she was, I liked her. She was, yeah, she, I liked her a lot. And, and she sat right in front of me for three weeks, y'all. How many weeks? Three. three weeks, I ain't say nothing. Three weeks. I was just coming to class like, hey, you good? It was a good day. It was a good, I thought it was a good day. So we smiling, everybody. Didn't say anything to her until one day she was listening to these headphones. I was like, yes, this is the perfect time. I'm gonna ask her what she's listening to. She can't reject that. Smooth, Odell, I know, yes. <laughs> Tapped her on her shoulder, she turned around and said, hey, what you listening to? I wasn't ready for what she said next. I wasn't ready, wasn't ready. See, I was, I'm from the South, I was raised underneath the church and before YouTube and the streaming and all that stuff, I didn't really listen to the hippity hop to the gangster. Didn't listen to it, didn't really know what it was. So when this young lady said to me, oh, I'm listening to that ready to die. I was like, what? <laughs> ready to die? Oh my gosh. A little education, a little lesson. Ready to die is the first disc in the discography of the late great hip hop philosopher, Christopher George Latour Wallace, AKA Biggie Smalls, AKA I love it when they call me Big Papa. One of the most famous rappers of all time, 15 year old Odell, had no idea who he was. I didn't know, and she saw it on my face. So I'm listening to that Ready to Die, I was like, okay, yeah, we ready, yeah. And she said, you know, Biggie. Biggie Smalls. And I'm like, so wait, is he big or is he small? <laughs> Biggie Smalls? My goodness. And she saw the confusion on my face. And she asked, she said, oh, hey, Odell, well, do you want to borrow my CD? What did I say, everybody? <sighs> oh, yeah. But yes, yes, I'll go home and listen to the hippity hop. Then I'll come back. And my love for the hippity hop will flourish into a love for I didn't tell her this was going on in my mind. So I go home, pop the CD in my CD player. Listen to it. Has any of y'all ever heard Biggie before? Anybody? A couple people? A few people? It was horrible. It was so bad. Like, the reason why your parents and grandparents probably like, you don't need to listen to that stuff, that was that, that, was that album. Talking about robbing people, killing people, because they wouldn't give you their stuff willingly. My gosh but I loved it, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Like, I graduated with 4.2 GPA. I had never seen a gun in my life, but I loved it. I don't know. It's like I was there, and I got lost, and I started getting loud and rowdy, and my mother said, hey, turn the music down. We, we got kids in here that make noise, and we tell them to be quiet. So yeah, my bad, mom, my fault, but my mama did not see what this young lady looked like. She didn't see her. 
So she didn't understand, so I had to keep listening to it. So I had to understand the music, and then I had transformed into a gangster. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing, I transformed. I was a gangster. Give me the loot. I was sticking up the wall. I was like, brick yourself. You know what I was doing? Getting loud again. And we're talking about inspiration. I probably, inspiration gets you feeling things. Get loud. I grew up with two sisters. One of the sister's rooms right next to me. I heard a woman's voice say, hey, shut that stuff off. That was my sister. So, you know, you speak differently to your siblings than you do. So I respond like you would respond to your sister. And I said, you shut up. You don't tell me what to do. But it was my mama. And remember, remember over there, I said that I had turned into a gangster? He had died that night. <laughs> but a lot of times, we program our minds with poison. A lot of times. And you got to understand that what entertains you, trains you. What entertains you, trains you. Your mind does not understand the difference between fantasy and reality. It only understands commands. The M and M pack stands for motivation. Inspiration is about how we feel. Motivation is about how we see. Inspiration is about our feelings. Motivation is about our vision. What do we see? And those who lack motivation or we perceive to lack motivation, they just yet to see the potential of their future. Everybody say purpose. When the purpose of a thing is unknown, abuse is inevitable. When the purpose of a thing is unknown, abuse is inevitable. We have to tap into that. And I believe, this is just what Odell believes. This is what who believes? Odell. This is just what Odell believes. Odell believes that your purpose in life is to give the world a glimpse of heaven by what you do, what you have, and who you are. A and impact stands for action. Without a sense of urgency, desire loses its value. That's the law of diminishing intent. Said another way, if you wait too long to do something worth doing, you won't do it. You'll be the same person that you are today with the exception of two things, the books you read and the people you meet. And then courage, four types of courage. Sacrifice, everybody say sacrifice. Sacrifice is the ability to give up what you like now for what you will love later. You have to have the courage to ask yourself questions. The smartest people, the most intelligent people are those who ask and answer the toughest questions about themselves. And then the T in impact stands for transformation. Everybody say transformation. Transformation. I said, wait, he just said transformation. So. <laughs> Y'all are, see, y'all are smart. It's trying to make me advance my slides quicker. I get it, hey, I'm with it, I understand. We're all in the process of becoming. And I wanna ask you all something today, really quick. How many of you would say that you got at least one thing that you could share today? One thing, you got at least one thing?